Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, the Combat System.com. I'm going to show you a pretty cool guard series I like with Andre from Down Under. He's been living here training at Gokers. He went to uh, uh, kind of Greasy and 10th Planet the tournament yesterday. Went up the knee bar that we've been drilling a lot. So, congrats to him. And I'm going to do a series with the highest on Gokers Academy in North Hollywood. Come to the highest on Academy if you want to win total grappling mixture of Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Sambo, Catch Wrestling. A total grappling style. Okay. Um, what this is, is going to be a series going to like a typical sit up, pop up, hip sweep, or opa sweep, and, and when the guy defends it. So if I come up to my sweep, and the guy bases down, if the guy bases the hand, instead of typically I would fall, I used to teach this, and it's still a good MMA drill, falling and grabbing and going to a double wrist lock, aka Kimura, that way, it's still a good series. I teach that series falling to it to then guillotine if he defends, to then hitting the ribs, to getting up to his base like Frank Shamrock did against Tito. Um, but now we're doing something different. So, so if I pop him up, boom, I try to sweep and he lands. What I'm going to do, instead of jumping my hand to get the double wrist lock, I'm going to jump my hips and my butt and my body. I'm going to attack his limb with my body. So this is coming over for the sweep and I'm going to jump the hand underneath and jump my hips over here. So I'm going to try to lock him in if I can cross my ankles, great. And now here it's a double hold and this is like a old school catch wrestling key lock that I've adapted to guard play. And now it's a horribly efficient lock. I got my 90 degree bend, I can double grip behind my elbow. And now I pinch my legs and I rotate up with my shoulder and turn my body. Way more efficient even than just a Kimura or double wrist lock played from guard, especially because most people stay too linear spine to spine. Submissions. Get a two on one usually, get an angle of attack. People forget to get a good angle of attack. So I hit my pop up sweep and now I'm going to jump underneath. This hand's going to swim under. This one's over for the sweep motion. And here. Now, here's my lock. I'd say this is probably about a 96-97% attack if you drill moving your hips, jumping your hips over. It's a different motion, way different motion. Now, theoretically, if he's really strong and pushes out of this, he's going to roll his arm. Boom. Now i got to see if I can get a judo arm bar there. Short, like judo arm bar style, uh, umigawa style. Okay. Now, this is a good series. If he swim, passes out of it, boom, you can like arm drag it. I'm going to come here, trap it behind the elbow tricep area, come up to the armpit, and now i got options. Look at this, there's an elbow break right there, Lee Grotley style, kind of like the Frank Mir Pete Williams armbar. Pretty awesome stuff, no one expects it. So anytime a guy, even from arm drags and stuff, from Butterfly Guard, Marcelo, Marcelo Garcia stuff, if the guy puts the arm on the mat here, you can crank it under there. Of course, because I got this now, you can do all your back takes if you want. Uh, and just take the back if you're one of those back taker guys, I'm a more grab something and break it kind of guy. Um, from here, now I'm no good on this side, my swim moves much better on the other side. But you could always pass and go to like swim move arm bars from here. Go to the hip, come in here behind the head, grab that, swim move towards your head, over, whoops, here, and then take the arm bar. Here's the series again. Now again, just drilling the first move is what's really important. Not necessarily this like lock flow series or judo or C-lot style. But, uh, I'm going to hit that sweep and you got to practice jumping your hips off. So I'm not just going here. I'm going to jump my hips over to it. And now look, i got one arm here. Usually the lock's going to be here. And that's what matters. He straightens out. Boom, I still got a chance. Now I use my knee for this one, okay? He swims out and I'm going to drag it. Okay. Yeah, see that? It's low. Okay, take the back if you want. Or replace to your hip bone. Swing here. Get to the ankle if you can. Towards your head. And then to his back. Spider web, whatever you want to do. 
everything until the last part, I'm better on this side. So we move on better on the other side. I'll, try, I'll do it once on the other side. So we can give you one more angle to this. So, he's in my guard. A lot of times I like to break the guy's posture. Keep messing with him, messing with him, messing with him. He gets sick of it, he's really gonna go. Boom. Hit my sweet, my top of sweet. Okay. Now I'm gonna hop my hips, my butt over to that wrist, to that elbow. Underneath lock. Okay, he lost his base a little bit, but as you see, I still got a nice fall from here. I can finish it this way. He has a little more bend. I can double grab on my elbows. Here, he slips out, pulls that out, use the knee, and wrist bone behind the elbow. Judo arm bar stuff. It passes. Grab it. Sit up on it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. You can just break it right there, apparently. Sit up on it, and here's the lock against your belly. And your hip bone, swim. Okay. So, hope you guys enjoy it. It's a much more functional. Uh, go to your back one second. It's a much more functional lock. Way better leverage. It's a old catch wrestling key lock, not the same as a paintbrush key lock or a top wrist lock key lock, but a catch wrestling key lock. If a guy grabs his shorts to defend the kimura, the more wrist lock or grabs his hands together. So I start to do this kind of thing, and he gets his hands together. We'll go ahead. Now, it's the same thing as this. Same position, very strong position. Get that bicep and uh, tricep type of grab behind the elbow if you can. Sit down. And that's the lock we're now doing from the guard, which I don't know if a lot of people have done. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually picked this up from a pretty, very open-minded jiu-jitsu guy who actually looks at some of my catch wrestling stuff and uh, takes from a lot of different things. And uh, I think it's a really great series. Hope you enjoyed it. Go to thecombatsystem.com, go to gokor.com, and uh, come up here to the Highest Time Academy and get your rolling. Thanks.